What's, What's up, up best fam? fam? All right, guys, today we're going to be doing ReZero Season 2, Episode 17. Pretty excited for this episode, man. Last episode, we uh, actually had a lot of things happen, really. Um, Garfield kind of got, um, you know, he finally... He, we finally figured out, you know, his he, backstory. There, we got a backstory of him. Right, we got backstory, but we finally figured out what was kind of going on with them and why he was acting a certain way. And it was because of his mom and how yeah. he kind of, you know, suppressed those memories of his mom leaving. Well, he found out the truth. And, right, that she loved him. Yeah. Correct. And now, uh, you know, and now he's kind of on the good side. He's like, he's like a, a good dude, a good dude now. Like, because you know, before he was bad, but now he's good. This kind of reminded me of when. Subaru had to figure out how to, um, you know, get, you know, on Rem and Ram's good side. Because mm -hmm. remember, Ram, um, Ram and Ram killed him a couple times, but he ended up getting it right, and they, they you know, he became real he good friends out, with them yeah. and everything. So, um, same thing happened here with Garfield. He figured it out and actually got on Garfield's good side, and we learned that he's actually 14 years old or whatever. So, pretty <laughs> yeah, crazy. He's I'm a young, just, young dude. Yeah, I was expecting him to be a, a little older than. Right, right. And uh, now we have Emilia. She's actually taking on her trial. Um, last episode, she ended up saying that she was the Frozen Witch and everything. And I don't... A lot of people think we haven't seen Frozen Bonds. We have. Oh, yeah. We know that she called her... She didn't technically call herself Frozen Witch and Frozen Bond. The people were calling her that, and she never... You know, she never took that on as her own. Like, right? Because I was speaking to people on, on Discord about that, and I'm like... Um, it's not... Like, this is the first time she's ever addressed herself as a witch like she's actually taking that name on and actually you know yeah making it make it you know making it her own like she's actually making her own name because before it was people used people used to call her that but now she's saying that she is that which yeah. is what we were I, saying I've last seen a episode. couple comments um saying that we should watch the movie right but we did right we did watch the movie yeah, we did before see. this uh season correct correct and um another thing with echidna right so echidna said last episode she's the, a witch's daughter or mm -hmm. whatever so i saw people in the comments saying that that's not true and da 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 like we like you know what i'm saying we don't know if that's not true or not like some people i'm guessing i don't know even people that read that because we have lie on discord and he actually reads a I light novel down my chair is i see that i do slowly see that. like you're, you're slowly going, going down yeah people with the light novel they say that um they read a light novel they say that we don't they don't technically they don't they still don't know if emilia is a witch's daughter or yes like if that tr if that's true or not <clears throat> but i saw people in the comments saying that's not true how is that even a thing that people are in the comments saying that she's not a witch's daughter when people that read the light novel are saying that they don't even know themselves if that if that if if, if she's the witch's daughter or not i think you know people what I'm saying? Some sometimes people, troll though i don't think that's trolling i think people really come up with their own interpretation of the anime and they they regard it as truth mm -hmm. and they come in the comments and, t and, and and say it in a way that no that's not true this and like Oh man, and that, it's a lot of those comments. And they get a lot of likes. That's the thing that kills me. They get so many likes, and I'm like, how? It, like, I don't understand. How are, are but, these people? Mm -hmm. You know, like, am I not seeing something here? Maybe, and, like you said, they just interpret it their own way, right. and I guess a lot of people agree with that yeah. interpretation. Yeah, I, I, I guess, I guess. But um, with that being said, man, I know I went off on a, on a tangent there, but we're gonna <laughs> go ahead and jump in. Rizio does that because you know it's crazy anime. But um, we're going to go ahead and jump in. If you guys are new here, definitely consider subscribing. Remember, you guys use your reaction every week. We also have the early access on Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, link to that is going to be in the description below. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go check it out. Let's go. That's Puck and Emilia. Yeah, that's Puck. Is it? Yeah, that's Puck and Emilia. Oh, yeah. yeah. This sounds so different for some reason. Just by this conversation, I feel like Puck is really Amelia's mom <laughs> or something. I don't know. It's just the relationship that they have. Is, yeah. And that's that. It feels like a mother daughter or, or something. Or dad. Or dad. Because she calls, him, she calls Puck father. True, yeah. Whatever, so, so it does feel like yeah. a, a deeper relationship. Correct, correct. <laughs> She's getting dirty. She's probably like, oh my god, if she fails again, bro. <sighs> Interesting. She said she couldn't touch the door, and Echidna looked at her like, maybe that was like her. Pa she passed the test or whatever. Like she passed mm. like a part of the test, because she said she couldn't touch the door. 
Oh, is that is her it, mom? I believe so. That looks exact. Wait. Oh, man, that's her mom. That looks exactly like her. Literally twins. Mo Mother Fortuna. Oh, man. So Mother Fortuna... You have my brother's... Oh, that was yeah. Because I'm, like, I'm like, why don't she call her mother Fortuna? instead of just like mom. mother or yeah, mom or whatever? Okay, so but was my father's younger sister, so which is Amelia's aunt? Right, correct, interesting. But they look like twins. They're family members, so it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I know, but, but they just look a lot ah, like. Ah man, okay, so but th this is now we still don't know who Amelia's mom is. Yeah, we still don't know who her mom and is. And that kid that calls her yeah. witch's mom, like yeah. your, you know, witch's daughter or whatever. So. We'll see. They were too busy hmm. to spend time with me. And look how they're like zooming in on her face. Huh. When when Amelia said that. She was left there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for her. Why would she call her Aunt Mother Fortuna though? Like that's kinda like why don't you just call her auntie or something? She okay. probably looked at her aunt as a mother figure. All right. Because her parents were always too busy for her. Still, though. That just confuses us. Yeah, I mean, it know? confuses the viewer, but I kind of understand why she would call her mother. Oh, she went outside. Didn't they tell her not to go outside? Yeah, but I think, like, Puck had... No, this is not the same uh, instance. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, no, because I saw, like, a little light. That's not Puck. That's just a spirit. You know, like in the movie, oh, okay, those gotcha, little yeah, spirits little and spirits. everything? Yeah. Sneak. <laughs> Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait, so they... Are, whoa, they whoa, got... whoa. What is going on? Wait, wait, wait. That's, um... What's his name? Oh, no, that's not him. I thought oh, my was... God. That's him. Oh, Listen is to it? the voice. It is Beto Goose. Oh my god, man. Hold up, man. What is going on? I was like, I don't What think is I'm... going on? Oh my god, what is going on? There's obviously a lot of things we don't know. <laughs> so, what about you remember when Beatrice mm -hmm. was talking about, like, she was so sad that Goose, Beto to, Goose, yes. died and everything? Yeah. And this is them. This is the, um, the witch's cult. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, and like they're just here with these elves and like they, Mangala, and they, they don't get look, along. And obviously, Bishop who still doesn't look like they look like they're, they're good people. They're people, they're not they're good not, people. Yeah. Something happened, and I wonder what how. Yo, how old is Emilia? What if Emilia is hella old? No, but that's what I was. I don't know. Like episodes ago, um, you know, because there was another anime we were watching, and in this anime, like elves were uh, like really, really. You're talking about interspecies. Yeah, reviews, so but, okay. that's why when Amelia said she was half elf, I was kind of like. Oh, because elves are typically super really old. Really old. Really old. Young. Yeah, so I'm right. like, you know, Amelia yeah. could be super old, and we and just. And she was she was frozen in that thing. And she was Probably, frozen. We don't know how long she's been frozen for. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, okay, so... It makes sense with the whole age thing, though. Like, if she's, like, hundreds of years old, yeah. like, it's a possibility. Yeah, because it's 400 years thing, and, and Beatrice knows Beto Goose. And if Beatrice was created within that 400 years thing, and she knows Beto Goose, mm -hmm. so how old is, is Beto Beatrice? Goose? No, well, we know Beatrice is super old, but yeah. Beto Goose himself, how old was he? So, oh, man, this... You know, I'm not going to put it... Yo, I'm still going to go by that Emilia is probably a form of Satella. I don't know what it is, but I feel like... Because they look so much alike. It's not a, it, that, and also that she, Satella has such an infatuation with Subaru, and we know how Emilia and Subaru's relationship is, mm -hmm. and like, it just, I don't know, and there's different realities because Subaru keeps re-zero, whatever, like, yeah, I don't know, man, but this is very interesting, and my brain trembles. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Is the seal intact? Hmm. Wait, pause it. Didn't um, Puck like break the seal of of Amelia when she had left? When she left Amelia? When he, when when no, she, when, he when broke, Puck uh, wasn't he broke it? Didn't seal of her memories. 
Okay, but it was like some sort of seal. I, yeah. I wonder if they're talking about the same seal. That's I don't, why I I'm... don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. But now this is very important. They said your brother and his wife. You mean your brother and his wife? Yeah. So like, let's pay attention here because this is probably going to be int this important. I mean, the responsibility I carry and her responsibility is with Emilia. Because remember, he had a book as well. Remember? He had that book. And he was following everything from that book. Oh, so they bring things to the elves. Okay, that's how they... Okay. That's why they're there. Man, Emilia was part of a whole elf clan. Yeah. But what I understand... Pause it. Um, what I understand... Maybe we're pausing a lot. I know, I'm so sorry. Um, that, like, the witch cult has the elves living in the forest. That's yeah. What, yeah, it's not like they're living there because they want to live in the forest. It's for some reason the but witch cult has it. It's because of the seal. They they have a duty. Oh, they both okay. they both factions seems to have like some kind of duty that they're supposed to do. Okay. That that's what I'm getting from this. Okay. And also this goes back to also what you know what Echidna said, witch's daughter. Why would she call Emilia, which is daughter, like, I don't think it's just to get on her nerves because why would she call her that? She's a group, she's with like all these elves, they don't look like witches, they look just like elves. Now it why makes, Emilia get that? Why does Emilia get that title? And now it makes more sense why Emilia could be half a witch, half elf. Yes, it makes sense now because they were like intertwining with each, each other. Which the witches cult the, and the, yeah, and and the, the, and the elves. And the elves. Now it makes more sense why Amelia would be half elf and half witch. Uh, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's... If she is. And he knew about Emilia as well. I can't let her meet you. It's all right. Wow, the oh, spirit cleaned her. Wow. Oh, she made it seem like she got dirty from that. Wow. Hmm. His influence, Subaru. I think she's talking about. The seal. The seal. Oh, he's getting sick as well. Everybody's ah. getting sick. Because even still still in even place? mother probably had a fever because he was touching her forehead. That is my duty. See, the seal is Emilia. That's why they keep her locked up in that room. She's yeah. the she's the it would yeah she's the yeah. one they have to seal. And for the two of them too. Oh man, my brain. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, you see, it's getting colder and colder here. Yeah. Everything is getting colder. But you know what's strange? In the beginning of this episode, they said something like, thanks to the spirits, the weather doesn't change. I something do, uh... with the weather and the spirits. How, how come, like, the weather changed so instantly? Hmm. This is the seal. Oh, okay. So what are they see? What is uh, okay. the seal's existence? Is why, why what? Bat Subaru. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> what is Emilia trying to do? It's a seal, girl. I know young. you're a kid, but yeah, like she's young, babe. <laughs> it's all my Fortuna's fault and Ju's fault. Fault for what? I think everyone's so probably gonna be frozen by her. Oh no! There's so many spirits around her now. They're guiding her somewhere else. Oh man, Amelia. <gasps> he realizes yeah. it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, what the heck is going on? He's so on? emotional. 
Salvation like never before. Oh my god, what is going on? Hmm. What did he, what did I say? Yeah, there? go back that like go back a couple seconds because it went You're by. Giving up on a decision to depend on a man or a father. Wait. Or a father, father figure. figure. Okay, even though it's so typical of a filthy woman like, like you. you. Oh, okay. So okay, okay, I get it. The warm-up round is over. Oh man. Begins for real. <laughs> He's out of breath. <laughs> Interesting. So they knew all along that Emilia was doing her mischief and actually leaving the... But they were trying to keep her in there the whole time. <laughs> but why always keep her inside? You can't keep a kid inside like that. Are they doing it to protect her or is she a danger? That's a dazzling sight. Nothing changed about him. He was so, like, emotional. But he acts kind of similar with Satella. When Satella's mentioned. You know? There's a lot of sim similarities there. <laughs> Whoa. It is kind of like that, huh? Hmm. Hella old, probably. Yeah, every time they're about to say something, it's being stopped. The author's purposely doing that. I hate he's it. Just, it's so I mean, annoying. No, he's just messing with us. Ah, oh, man. Man, this OST is fire. To be honest, man, ReZero got some good good music, man. Yeah, they do. They might actually win, well, from last year, too. They had some good music, too. The best score could definitely happen for them. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, my God. Oh, it's one of the sins. I forgot what sin it is, but we you went with Rem? Oh! Oh my god! Which sin was he again? I can't okay, I remember! Have to... Gre represent okay, representing greed. Regulus Cornias. Oh my god! So he's the sin of greed. Yeah, that's what I understood yeah, he's representing a, Yeah, he's the sin of greed. Yeah, that's what he is. Yeah, of representing the Greed. Representing Greg, yeah, the sin of greed. Yeah. Um, wow. So this guy's representing greed, which is linked to freaking Echidna. Like, man, ah, uh, this is. I have to wrap my head around this, um, this episode. There was a lot of information, really, most of the episode. <laughs> what? Man, like, uh... Man, like, the thing about ReZero is, is that, it's like, we never fully get answers. It's always bits and pieces, and never a full picture of something, and it's always, totally, I, I'm left with more questions than answers all the time. Yeah. Like. I'm always left with more questions and you know obviously you know I, I think I need to watch this episode again because it seemed like they were locking Emilia inside mm -hmm. they didn't really want Emilia to go outside and do any of that stuff Emilia kind of snuck, snuck out with his spirit and everything and there was this thing about this seal first I kind of thought it was Emilia but obviously it's not it's yeah, this it was door Emilia. thing yeah but it seems like they seal and Emilia is connected somewhat. Like yeah. the door and Emilia are connected somewhat with the seal. Because Mother Fortuna doesn't want Emilia to go near, near that seal. Correct. And um, and we know like the frozen thing. Every time they go close to the seal, it's all frozen and like snowy stuff. Mm -hmm. And we know Emilia has that thing where she freezes people. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's interesting. And also like Emilia's mom and dad, 
obviously, um, it, you know, Deuce and, and Fortuna are kind of playing that part right now. Mm -hmm. Like he, a mother, father yeah, figure. Yeah, but, you know, Fortuna is her aunt. And it seems like Fortuna's brother is Amelia's dad. Mm -hmm. So Fortuna's brother is probably 100% elf. But there's something Emilia's mom, we don't know who she is. Maybe she's not elf. Maybe she is a witch. Like I can say witch is mo like mother of a witch. Mother of witch's daughter. Yeah, witch's daughter. Or whatever, daughter. right? So maybe Emilia is this daughter of a witch, which is probably why all these spirits follow her and she has all this magical power, whatever the heck. Um, I don't know, man. And, and you know, it, it's just, and then, you know, this goose thing, you know, it's just, I have a lot of questions. I know probably next episode we'll get some answers and stuff. I, I felt like but. throughout this episode we were going to get answers because like we were right, we were literally right there and it would just be cut off and yeah. we didn't get any, like that's what's a little frustrating about ReZero. It's like, I feel like, like you said, we get more questions and little to no answers. Yeah, I think which, the author purposely does that. He purposely yeah, no, does that to the viewer where... Yeah, but I'm like, just give us a little bit. Like, yeah. a it, little bit. Because you gotta think about it. It's been two seasons, right? It's been two seasons. And I, and I feel like season one, we, you know, the more you win, the more you find out certain things and everything. But with season two, it's like, where I, I feel like I'm trapped in a loop of like confusion mm -hmm. and no answers and everything and it's it's frustrating like it, it gets frustrating to me while watching while i'm like like i just you know because uh, the obviously the thing with rem and this guy we saw him at the beginning of season two we haven't seen him since and, yeah and now he's back in the picture now and it's like it's been a while i so. agree that there is there is some confusion but for me it's more questions than confusion yeah. it's just like you know, like the basic thing of like, who is Amelia's mom? Who is Amelia's dad? Like, yeah. it's not really confusion. It's just like, we need answers. But also with this episode, because we still don't know why Amelia couldn't do her trial. Mm -hmm. You know, like all this time she was she was having trouble completing her trial. Yeah. And like, what's her name? Ekinna was like, okay, this is the part, you know, this is when the trial, trial really begins. And the trial really never begun until maybe now it's beginning. Yeah, maybe this, I was going to say, I think this is when things like... Kind of turn, turn, but then obviously yeah. we're going to wait for the next episode. It's like, it's been a lot of stalling. It's been a lot... I feel like it's been stalling a little bit, you know, because, you know, Subar had so many goals at this, right? All of season two has basically been Subar trying to, um, you know, have so many goals at this, mm -hmm. at this, um, you know, get, get um, you know, Break this this the seal or whatever mm -hmm. of the of the forest. Yo, is that a, is it a seal of the forest? Now that I think about it. What you're saying is a forest. The trial. No, the trial. The trial. Because there's a seal on on the, the the half the half breeds are not able to leave unless Emilia completes the trial. Would that can be considered a seal? I don't know. Uh, I don't. Know. I don't, I don't know from because she has I... complete the trial to break the seal. Yeah. I don't know, that's kind of interesting, but okay, but, um, I just thought about yeah, that. Yeah, no, yeah, go ahead. I, I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not but sure. But whatever, point is, you know, season two, we've been in this constant, you know, Subaru has been dying over and over and over again, and it feels like this time we're gonna get, we're gonna get, you know, the right outcome, but, um, by doing that, it's like, I don't know, I, it's still kind of like, and I'm not gonna lie, season two did answer a lot of things, like, like, we know, we know what's his name, um, Freaking um, what's his name? Um, the guy that that's been um, sponsoring Amelia, the clown face. Oh, um, the one from the Roswell. Castle. Roswell, yeah. So Roswell, we know that Roswell always knew about Super mm -hmm. abilities. We know about Elsa now. How Elsa was hired by Roswell. We know certain things, mm -hmm. right? We know certain things, but we still don't know the big part of the big overall plot, which is, you know. To me, which is kind of more where I want to head to, like, what's up with this dragon? You know, what's up with this um, this 400 year thing? You know, what's going on with these other sins? Mm -hmm. You know, what's going on with Rem? Yeah, but you know, I think like, I, I think what has to happen first is that Emilia needs to break that seal. She yeah. needs to pass the trial, and I think after that, a lot of things will get revealed. Yeah, but that's the thing. I, I feel. To me, this Emilia thing is taking yeah, it is forever. Taking, yeah, it's taking a while. Like this, th this Emilia thing is. We've been yeah. on this Emilia thing all of season two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many other plot points that I want to go and 
you know, I, I want to visit like the Ram, the, this dragon thing, more about Echidna and what's really going on here. And we're stuck on this Emilia and this trial thing and her having to overcome this trial. And then yeah. even with that, they're still like not telling us who her mom and dad is and this and that. I'm like, man, like there's so much stuff we still don't know. Like, oh. and it feels like it keeps adding here and there. Uh, you know this? Well, okay, you don't know five. You could get you get one answer on one thing, and there's five other mysteries here. Yeah. It's like, I give but you I think one, that's like just five. Part of, like, yeah. It's like three zero. And that, that, to me, that's kind of, it's frustrating to me. Mm -hmm. It is frustrating to me. And I got to be honest, I think, I think <laughs> it makes my brain tremble. But um, it is what it is. You know, I still enjoy three zero and everything. But we'll see where it goes. We'll definitely see where it goes from here. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Definitely, guys. See you guys later. Show Rose out.